Hey everyone, it's Andy here, or Adrian, whatever works, from CFB Edmonton, just bringing you a couple drills for your egg beater or treading. We don't have a lot of pool access right now, but that doesn't mean we can't prepare for when we do. And egg beater is always one of those hot topics when it comes to training in the pool and just getting a little bit more confident in our aquatic skills. So I'm gonna go over some general hip mobility, hip strength exercises um, for that active range of motion to be a little bit more full, to get that nice solid egg beater pattern, as well as a couple dry lamb drills that you can do without needing any water whatsoever, aside from if you're hydrating. All right, because we're starting with some mobility drills, we are gonna have a little bit of a warm up first. So go ahead and warm up however you wish or follow along with me over these next few exercises here. Alright, first active range of motion exercise. Bring the legs down onto the mat here or onto your floor. You can make a 90 degree angle at your knees, at your hips, and at the back knee as well. Bring yourself up nice and tall, sitting up as tall as you can. And from this position, leave your feet where they are. Just pick the knees up and over to the other side. It should kind of bring you to a mirror image of that 90 degrees all the way down on the second side. It's a little easier if you lean back. So if you need to, do what you need to do. Otherwise, keep that chest up nice and tall. Knees come up and over. We're gonna go five times each way, 10 in total. You might find you inch forward as you're doing this one. That's totally normal. Once you're done your 10, go ahead and bring that up to stand, working a little bit more on some of the strength in and around the hips. You're gonna shift your weight into one foot. Other knee is gonna come up towards the chest. Push it out to the side without using your hand as far as it'll go, keeping your hips facing straight forward. Drop down to tap the foot to the mat. Bring it up again on the side as far as it'll go. Control back through center and back down to the start. Go for another five of those. <laughs> Brilliant, moving on to the other side. Same thing here, shift that weight onto your first leg. Other knee coming up towards the chest. Don't use the hands, open the knee as far as you can to the side, drop it down to touch. Lift it straight back up to the side, 
in towards the middle, replace it down. Five more reps. Next one, as we are doing our egg beater, it is a lot of keeping knees up nice and high, almost like you're sitting in a chair in the water, and a lot of hamstring and quad activation as we go through that circular motion of the foot. We'll go over the pattern later if it's something you're less familiar with or need a bit of a review on, but to get those hamstrings, we're gonna pull it up into a quad stretch first. So step it onto one foot, other heel up towards the glutes, go ahead and grab on. Hang out here for a second or so, and then let go with your hand, keep that heel high. Hold it for five. Lower down, same thing, second side. Heel up towards the glutes. Find your balance. Keep that heel just as high, let the hand go. For five. Got into our hamstrings, I want to bring it more into the quad. So come back to that standing stance, a little bit of balance, shift it over to one side, draw that knee up towards the chest, and then kick that leg away from you. Keep your balance, feel that quad super fired up, like you're trying to press the knee down, but pulling the toes back towards your face. For three, two, one, release it down, same thing, other side, knee to chest. Kick that out away from you. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze with that quad. Knee presses down, Oof. toes back towards you. For three, two, and one. Cool, relax that on down. You're gonna start by hands either by your sides or up alongside the uh, legs here in line with the shoulders. Start to rock the weight back into your sit bones a little bit more so heels get light. Feet can just stay light on the mat, on the floor. They can come up to hover, maybe up to parallel. And then don't worry too much about what the legs are doing. From here, let's get that chest up tall. And if it's available, may as well toss a little bit of arm work in here. So pressing down and back with the palms, flip them towards each other, down and in towards the center. It's just a slight down, but that same kind of movement that you would have in an actual treading type scenario. Keep it nice and slow, really big motion here and relax that on down. Next up, we're gonna get in a set of tucks. Coming from that V-sit position, hands up or hands down, your choice. Chest is up tall. We're gonna extend to a hollow body. Use that core, draw the knees back in towards the chest. Go for another five. Excellent, you can go ahead and repeat through <clears throat> that round of exercises another two or three times if you wish. All right, so what we're doing here, sitting in your chair, preferably a little bit closer to the edge. Make sure that's a spot that you can balance a little bit on your glutes here, on those hip bones. Put the water bottles out so you have enough space to bring a foot through the middle. And if you think about that egg beater type pattern in any kind of mixing scenario, you're doing two circles in the opposite direction in a way that the two implements, in this case your legs, are not gonna collide. So they're not coming around at the same time, but one followed by the other. You wanna think about drawing through the center, back and out, rather than going forward and around. Forward and around in a water situation will actually start to pull us down. We don't want that when we're treading, so coming back out and around. You're gonna bring the legs up, heels even just to a hover is good. I like to stabilize a little bit on my chair to make life easier. Flex the toes so they're pulled back towards you and we're gonna go in nice slow circles around your water bottles here. It's great to practice this in a seated position because this is a really similar position to what we would be using in the water. Knees are up towards the chest. You want some space between them because the bigger you can make this kick, the more effective it will be. Double check, see if you've started going the opposite way.
if you're not a fan of that chair exercise, I've got one more for you. You just need a wall. You're gonna pop down onto the floor on your back, bringing your feet up onto the wall, somewhere that your knees have about a 90 degree bend. Again, I want you to flex your feet really hard so toes are pulled back towards the face. We're gonna draw those same circles on the wall, just with a little bit of a slide to the feet. You're really, really light with your pressure on the wall here. You notice how much your hips are rotating internally and externally as we make our way through. Alright, there it is. I hope you have a few more tools that'll be useful for when we are back in the pool. Fingers crossed that soon. Thank you for joining. See you again soon.